Prime Minister Modi holds a video conference today with all state chief ministers and later he may address the nation to convey the government's decision on the lockdown. Reports say the lockdown will be extended but with many changes this time. Some sector specific relaxation of norms may be allowed while keeping social distancing in place. 50% of the workforce in some services may be allowed to return. Staff may be rotated every several days. Road map for the days ahead is awaited. The center has asked all states and union territories to ramp up the number of samples collected across the country for testing to at least 2.5 lakhs by April 14th. As India enters the last week of the 21-day lockdown, the center has made a push for more tests to map the outbreak with more testing to understand what trajectory it's taking in India. Reports quoting a source said that 1 lakh samples were collected in India and by April 14th this needs to be taken up to 2.5 lakh samples. While endorsing the Supreme Court order for free testing, private labs have called upon the government to come up with modalities so that their service remains sustainable. The centre had fixed a price cap of Rs 4,500 on each test for the 65 private labs that were approved. After the Supreme Court ordered tests to be free, labs say they incur costs on reagents and consumables and of PPEs for staff. They have sought clarity on who will cover these costs. The Indian Council for Medical Research is in the final stages of framing a protocol to infuse the plasma of a recovered patient into a COVID-19 infected patient in order to boost the immunity and improve chances of recovery. This will only be done by way of a clinical trial in patients in a severe condition or on ventilator support, ICMR officials clarified. After approval from the Drug Controller General of India, the therapy will be done on a trial basis. Police cases were filed against 60 people in Punjab's Jalandhar after they allegedly tried to obstruct the cremation of a person who was COVID-19 positive. Such cases have been reported from many other parts of the country as well since people fear a further spread of the disease due to bodies of infected patients. To bust this myth, in Punjab, two state ministers on Thursday attended cremations to show people there was no risk in it. A 29-year-old resident doctor from Savdarjung Hospital and her younger sister were allegedly assaulted by a 42-year-old man Wednesday night when they were buying fruit and groceries outside their residence in South Delhi's Gautam Nagar. The man lectured them on social distancing and then allegedly assaulted them when the woman told him she is a doctor. The man has been arrested. A day before the Union Health Ministry issued an advisory asking people not to label any community or area for the spread of COVID-19, the UN representative in India urged the government to fight stigmatization of certain sects of people. Fear and stigma was directed at the Tablighi Jamaat group after a major spike in the disease in India was traced to them. The Health Ministry had warned that targeting the group would culminate into increased hostility, chaos and unnecessary social disruptions.